my channel. Today we are going to recreate these signs that I got from the Dollar Tree. First off, I'm going to cut the tags off of them. We're going to take the string off of it. Make sure I get those staples out. Basically taking off everything off of it so I can start from fresh. I'm also going to go ahead and pick some of that glue off of it too. I have two of them that I'm going to do, so... If you haven't been here before, my name is Shannon. I enjoy doing crafts, but a lot of times um, I can't find them in my style. So I really do enjoy picking up some um, signs in that from the Dollar Tree, and then I can recreate them as to how I like. So once we've got everything off of them, I'm going to make sure I get some of that glue off. But at the top where the metal is, don't worry about getting all that glue because we're going to put the metal back on it. But where the ribbon was at, we're going to end up having to take some sandpaper to it and smooth it down. We're going to end up painting the whole thing too. So that's why we're going to sand it so that it stays smooth. So I'm really only going to sand where the ribbon goes. I'm going to make sure that stays more smooth. I'm really not concerned with the top part because, again, like I said, we're going to cover it back up with the metal. Now, I like the sign how it was before, but I really... I want to go ahead and create it doing a little bit of my buffalo plaid, the black and white that I like, the checkered. And so I'm don't I don't really like the design that's on it. So once we get both of these sanded down, make sure you wipe it down too because it's not when you go to paint on top of it and you've got the sandpaper residue from it, it's not going to stick very well. So make sure you also wipe them down real good. I just used a washcloth with mine. Do you guys like to do crafts at home? Do you buy things from the Dollar Tree and try to recreate them? So again, just wiping them off. And then I'm going to go ahead and take, um, I've got this, gosh, what do you call that thing? A Lazy Susan. And I'm going to take my Waverly Chalk Paint in white. You can get those at Walmart. They're pretty inexpensive. But I'm going to go ahead and paint this. It ends up taking three coats of paint. And then I also made sure I painted around the sides of it also. And then around where the A is on the sides also. The longest part of doing this craft was basically painting it. Do you guys enjoy painting? I always find that when I paint, I feel like I can see the strokes of the brush and it kind of annoys me, but it actually um, covers up a little better when you use the chalk paint. And that bottle that I have, I get at Walmart somewhere around $6, and it lasts me quite a while. And the paint brushes, I get those at the Dollar Tree. So, 
between each one I'm taking my heat gun and it's just going to speed up the process so I don't have to sit there and wait for the paint to dry. And we've got our three coats on now. And as you can tell that the black part that was on there with the, the design covered up with the third coat. Now I'm taking my berry glue and we're going to do the checkered paper, the buffalo. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the back of it. You could probably use any kind of glue that you have at home. But once I get the big piece on top of it, I just go back around again on it, around the sides, and make sure I get it all down. Now this paper, I also get that at Hobby Lobby. A lot of times you can get them four, four for a dollar. And that was actually one piece of paper and I still had some left over. And it was enough to do both signs. So now we're going to go ahead and do the other one. A lot of times when I do my crafts, I like everything to be balanced and symmetrical. So that's why I'm doing two of them. I have a little OCD with things being balanced. And the A is my last name. What kind of crafts do you guys enjoy doing? Go ahead and comment down below what your theme is at home, too. Are you into more of the farmhouse? Are you more modern, traditional? What is your theme that you guys have in your house? So at this point, we are going to go ahead and use and put the metal back on. I end up using um, my glue gun and I believe I have Gorilla Glue in it right now. I'm trying to figure out which way it goes on. So now we're going to go ahead and do the other one. And I had it upside down. So it takes me a minute to try to figure out which way it goes on. Could have something to do with me doing it at four in the morning too. Trying to get on to the night shift um, 
we actually start our night shift in a couple days. And so since it's our day off, we're trying to flip us and stay up at night. Because now we're going to end up having to work 7 at night to 7 in the morning now. All right, so once the metal part is back on it, it's time to get some ribbon. Oh, I'm sorry, I went to, I went ahead. Um, I took a permanent marker around the end and did little lines so that it looks like stitches. You know, if you've got a paint pen or marker, whatever you want to do. Now it's time to take the ribbon. So I got this ribbon at Hobby Lobby back around Christmas time. And it's a wired ribbon. So I just cut off enough to where I can hot glue it on the back. And then I actually have this tool there is a from the Dollar Tree. It is a mask applicator that silicone. It works really well where I don't end up having to burn myself. And it doesn't stick to it anything. And I got that at the Dollar Tree. So now we're going to hot glue the other side to it. I, what I did is when I picked it up, I was making sure that it was actually laying flat on the front side. And it doesn't take long for that to dry once I push down on it. So now I'm going to attempt to make a bow. And let me tell you, I struggle with making bows. As you can tell, it's going to take me a few to do it. Supposedly at the craft store, you can find something that's called Easy Bow Maker. And I keep debating if I should go pick that up. But I'm like, it's just a big piece of wood with spokes in it. I've tried to ask my husband to try to make me one. Because I don't want to spend the $25 on it. But I am going to attempt to make a bow as easiest as I can make it. I basically get two loops there. And then I'm going to take another piece of ribbon that's um, smaller. And I'm going to tie it around it. Do you guys have a hard time doing bows? I've attempted to do it the way I tie my shoes, and it never looks right to me. So at this point, I'm cutting off another little piece to where I can tie it around that to kind of pinch it together. So now I'm just fixing it, seeing if it's looking all right. And then I'll go ahead and cut the little excess ribbon off of that as I tied it in a knot. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it right there. And of course, idiot there, you know, I burn myself. 
I can't seem to ever do a craft without burning myself at least once. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend that in half and I'm just going to trim the edge of it so that it is, um, I don't even know what the name of that is, where you have it where it's got the, you'll see in just a second. I forget what the name of that is. I want to say it's like duct or something. I'm not sure what the name is. Now my ribbon has wire in it, so it's a little bit harder to cut it with the wire in it. Alright, so we've got one completed. Now it's time to do another bow all over again. And let me tell you, I am just not, I am not a fan of doing bows. But first we're going to have to glue down that ribbon. If you're still watching... I appreciate you watching my videos. If this is something that you enjoy, please consider subscribing and becoming a part of my YouTube channel. And go ahead and hit the like so that I know that people enjoy watching these. I started my channel off with attempting to do cooking, crafts, cleaning, and dumpster diving. And at one point, the dumpster diving just kind of took over. But I really want to start including some of the, some of my crafts and, um, you know, like my Dollar Tree hauls so I can show you what I do to them. The crafts tend to occupy my mind and gets me out of my uh, anxiety and depression and helps me throughout the day. And when you have kids, sometimes you just need this release and you need to be by yourself and do something. If you buy items from the Dollar Tree, do you recreate them at all or do you buy them to where you can just put them up as is? I'm curious to hear about that to see if anybody redoes anything. There's not a whole lot of the signs that I actually don't redo. As you see, I'm still struggling with the bow. <laughs> this one I was smarter with, though, when I went to hot glue it. I actually used the tool, and I didn't burn myself. All right, so now we just have to cut the ends of that, of the ribbon, so that it matches the other one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so now the signs are basically complete. The only thing that it's missing now is how I'm going to hang it on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and take back that same rope that was on it to begin with. And I'm going to make sure the staples are out of it. And we're going to glue that back on the back again. I wasn't liking how the end of that part of the ribbon was looking, so I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit better. Alright guys, so what do you think of the front of that? Do you like it better the way it was, or do you like it now that I've redone it? Which one would go better with your um, decorations? So now we're just going to put the hot glue on the back of it and attach the rope back to it. I probably could have left that on, but I don't know if you noticed when I first went to pull the plastic off of it, it kind of pulled the rope off of it. So I just pulled everything off. That way there's no... Um, the rope wasn't in my way when it came to painting it. And again, the applicator comes in perfect use. You know, if that's something you want to invest in, you can find that in the Dollar Tree down where the makeup's at. I actually recently bought me a second one just in case anything ever happens to this one or if I lose it. I had a spare. All right, guys, so these are officially completed the way I'm going to have them. Now I've put them in my living room up so that the bows are on the opposite side. Go ahead and please like and subscribe. Become part of my YouTube family. And you guys have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.